Alrighty guys, we are now gonna go for some mines and magic and I will do a tutorial style video over here Which means I will teach you if you're new to the game how to play because it is super popular It's not the easiest to learn, but it's not the hardest either. So it's kind of like a tower defense So here is your construction thingy you build units like this one You have a flesh beast you get mines like these ones and uh, do we go for another? Yeah, whatever. Let's do another. We can also go for the iron. So this is your construction yard and you can make either a farm, which goes on food and costs 10 gold. It doesn't increase. Or a regular mine on anything else that increases um, with every farm you get. So over here, we have our flesh beast who's working really hard here to defend. And we're gonna play with the Necro Builder. Also, I want to just discuss the basics of the game and the win condition. So, late game, the game gets tough. Like, super tough. And you cannot defend with the basic units that you get from your builder, which are like, I think, 3 to 5 units. So, everybody can just go here into research and uh, get any of these things. These are tech paths. Each one of these will give you stronger and stronger units the more you upgrade. And you gotta be focusing on that pretty heavily and uh, we don't have enough to build another flesh beast for the next wave. We might even leak, but that's fine. Because we can get just tons of resources. Resources are the one, are the like necessary things you gotta have. Mm, will we die here? And basically you will have for the late game You'll have to get the strongest units in either or more than one of these categories Like that is the only and I guess yeah, that is the only way to actually win You just get these to their strongest units and here we have the Kanjara here we have the Sun Idol, here we have the Anubis, and here we have the Robotron, and we won by like an inch. Okay, counts. That's nice. We, we barely held, but um, we did good. And for those, we'll have to talk about resources. So each builder gives you a bunch of starting resources, depending on what you need to build. So we have... Um, Necromancer that will give me food and sublock by default. Those are the two things I always like have here. <clears throat> and I'll show you why I chose this. Because late game, sublock is necessary. Every single mega OP unit costs sublock down to the check to the tech tree. You see here they cost only food, iron, mana, or metal and oil. But these down here. Highest tech, they cost sublock. So we chose it so that we'll, we're gonna be able to do really well in the late game. Like, no other reason. Late game is super important here. It's the thing that uh, makes the difference between a win and a loss. How early you can get the mega OP units. And of course, with sublock, you take into account the other resources that you need to like build them. And if you have an excess of any of them, you can afford to build that unit to go that tech path. So, for example, here we'll need food, mana, because you also need another resource sometimes, a little bit of another. So, here we'll have food, mana, sublock for the food path. We need crystal, metal, a bit of mana, and sublock for the ranged path. Here we'll have. We need just sublock and mana. This is actually the simplest. Sublock and mana here. Okay, let's get more resources because um, we're finishing the wave. That's actually about it. All we can do is like this one. And right now, we cannot go for anything because we have a little bit of food. We have sublock, which is like the rarest resource, so that's good. We have, we have now crystals. So we could go. We have crystals and two metal. And of course, sublock. We could go the ranged path. Yeah, which we could just get literally idols. Now, I'm hoping this is gonna be like a pretty good game. Because I wanna show you the late game. Hello there, water, how are you doing? 
Welcome to the stream and we're playing some Minds and Magic. I mean, I hope you like it. Now, what do we get next? I think we'll get one of these. These guys buff skeletons, so they're pretty good. These first waves are generally just super easy. You can just go through them like it's nobody's business. Yeah, look at this. We're doing super well so far. From 6 they start to be like a little bit uh, harder. But I think we can do those too. We can deal with those. Will you play Tavern today, Aero? It got big update. I don't think so. Even after the big update today, I said it would be a Minds and Magic and Undead Assault Reborn stream. So far, that is it. <clears throat> and now, for the fighting phase, everybody basically fights their side. And here, you either fight the leaks from the other person, or join up with their forces to either fight the leaks from these two other guys, or, as you can see, they're fighting here, join forces with them. But uh, after actually, after both sides have finished their units and their creeps, the round is over unless it's the last round where all the armies will join up here and fight the other army. So that's interesting. That is ideally where we want to go because that means uh, we have like a really nice late game. That's our aim, getting to like the last round pretty easily. We can also drill rocks with the drill laser that costs mana to operate, but it's not that much. It's one. And it's worth it. Like, always do this. Now I'm here. This is a hard wave. We might leak this. I really hope we won't, but maybe we will. Come on. Yeah, we're fine. We're actually fine. Roboling is pretty scary. Um, this is a tricky expansion because it's in between like two rocks. I think we can do this one, yeah. You can also build new construction yards. You should do this only when you know you will hold next wave. Without the 32 gold, you need to build the first one. The more you build, the more expensive they get. Like It's basically the same thing as um, the mines. Here... Do I get this metal? How is this pink guy? We could um, check him. I think I'll take this metal. I don't think he's reaching it. Or is he? Okay, we can share. There's a thing called sharing in the game. So I think 11... 20. Slow. Do we do this? Do we share? He's not answering. Okay, okay, he said okay. So 11.20. Let's see if we can nail this. <clears throat> Gonna be hard. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, too fast. That was too fast. There's a thing where we place the... The thing a bit too fast. You cannot share it, but if you place it at the right moment... You, you can both have the resource, so this is pretty tricky. Pretty tricky to pull off, and uh, we couldn't. <clears throat> I'm not sure why they did not update the game, so you can just share without having to perfectly time it on the millisecond, but okay. Yeah, this is a weird thing, but it helps. It like helps your team quite a bit if you can um, share properly. Here we'll scan, that is the scan, and we have uh, pretty good resources in the middle, to be honest. And another metal. Yeah, we know for a fact, we will go Sun Idols. Like, there's no question about it. We got metal, crystal, and sublock. It's just too perfect. Gonna go down uh, this tech path. We're gonna have to deal with our albino roaches. I'm afraid I'm kind of running out of units here and I won't be able to defend because I got all these resources, but okay. Well, I hope we're, do we're gonna do fine. Let's see here. We could get one of these guys, which is a bit more expensive than the others. 
Vino Roach. Not sure how that is. Roach can be super hard if they can send. And I mean, yeah, this is, this is like another thing. The enemies can actually like send units. Which gives them income. Like gold income that uh, adds to your value every round. So if you have like three gold income, you get three more gold per round. Plus everything else you uh, normally get. So I guess we can send a zealot and some scorpions. Because we have too many resources. We have too much food and too much sublock. Now we have 5.5 income. Which is good. That's pretty good. Here we should be just fine. Also flash beasts get more damage the more they attack. Which is super nice. This makes them decent against bosses. Which is super important. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Decently easy wave, I uh, would say. Can we drill more rocks? Do we... We do not get anything. That's sad. And those are like the basics of the game. There's nothing too complicated. Other than managing your resources. And to explain the upgrades, first one that gets your resource to plus 2 income costs 10, then 16, then it gets more expensive. So you, you need to be you need to be like super careful. It's better to upgrade two like resources to plus two, then one to plus four. Because uh, it's more expensive the more upgrades you get. And this works like per mine. So it's not like all the mines get more expensive upgrades the more you upgrade. But each individual one gets more expensive while while you like upgrade and these uh, upgrades with the resources give you things based on percentages they give you 20 percent more of the base income that you got using gold so that is how that works so if you have like plus five here and you only did gold upgrades if you do one of these you'll get Plus an additional one, because that is a fifth of the five. So those are basically the basics. Basically the very basics, and we actually don't have mana, you know what? Yeah, that is not good. Because for my idols, we also need some mana. And we have like no mana mines. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. <clears throat> Zero mana. We need to hope we'll drill some. That is the only way. Now we have two metal. I think we should get the food too. Maybe a bit greedy, but it's whatever. And now we'll start our um, upgrading by this marine. Yeah, Parine first, and then uh, we gotta do the next things. And now I can build here the Marine. If I want to, but I won't. Because he's low tier. And he's not gonna do much. The Marine is not gonna help me, like, at all. So we'll just wait. We'll just chill and wait. Also, the other side... Oh, they leaked. Okay. The other side can also leak, like the enemy side. And then you gotta wait for them. <coughs> Still looking for... Um, more metal, like really... I already kinda have enough, so I don't wanna take it. I think I would like to get this side, unless it's taken. Yeah, yeah, this is this would be nice because we need a mana. Mana is like necessary. I mean that mana is nice too over there. We can scan here. That's a rock. We don't care about that. Yeah, so it's if you're missing like one resource, which is so sad. I think we'll take the middle. I think we're not gonna upgrade for a while, but we're gonna rush the middle. The other side can take it too, and we do not want that, obviously. Come on, 80 HP, 
on a leak. That's so lame. Nothing. That's sad. Yeah, that was a small leak. Like a super small one. I think yeah, I'll save up and then expand. We need one, two, three of these yards. So we need quite a few of them. I'm not sure if I can uh, stop building units for a while and then be fine. I guess we can send more stuff. Or more gold income, because we have some resources. And even like extra resources uh, we don't need, which is kind of what we want. I think we can. We can just uh, chill here for a while. Not build for two whole waves. And hope we're not gonna die. Oh god. We gotta drill some of these, because we're losing a lot of gold. So we'll do that. Yeah, this is tough. We'll do this, because I want to rush mid. This is important. These resources are, like, super important for me. A few leaks are acceptable. But not too many. If you do just very many leaks, then uh, you're screwed. But we hope we're not going to do that. We're also going to get more income. Because we can send the Reaper next. With 18 metal. And even if we do happen to leak, it won't be that bad. I think at 160-ish gold, we can just expand. Bro, what's up, what's up with the other side? They take like so long to finish. Like 3 minutes for a wave? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. That's weird. Oh, we can send a Hydra. So what we'll do is we'll send a Reaper. And we cannot send anything else. Okay, I think there's limits on sends. You cannot just send a thousand things in one wave. That'd be like too OP. Like way too OP. I mean, we'll drill. Oh, uh, that's some gold. That's not bad. Now we gotta scan here. Oh, come on. It's taken. I knew it. They had to take it. Okay, it's whatever. We'll take this metal because we can. And then. Uh, do we take this one? I think we do. Let's take this one. Let's take the gold. We actually reach it, just barely. Gold just gives you like plus 5 gold income and you're supposed to not upgrade it because it's not worth it. Just keep it like this and it gives you like nice, a nice gold boost. Bam, bam. Yeah, uh, and this is weird. I can't believe we're missing mana. Like mana is a pretty common resource. Like we should not be missing it. Without mana, we might not be able to go for um, idols. Also the timer. Okay, I forgot. I'm gonna do another unit. Like that, yeah. And this is kind of our last shot and no mana. Ugh, this is not good. We might not be able to go for idols. At all. Like maybe here, but this is taken. So no. Oh man. Yeah, we don't have mana. I cannot believe we're missing the playmaster of resources. Also, I'm kind of winning. I, I am actually winning my wave. Upgrade? I think it's chill. We don't need to upgrade. We'll need one turbo, maybe. Next, what do we do? Do we get the pinky? I think we get the pinky. Like sending a pink hydro disc. But then, I mean, we will have sublock, actually. You know what? So fine, let's do this. Let's send. Also, we're fine. This is not too bad. 
Yeah, no mana equals we're sad. Somebody even turboed. That was necessary. Like, that we could have been fine without that. Yeah, no, we're fine. If this thing dies, by the way, we lose. So that's how you lose. You just lose uh, that thing. Sonic tank. I think we can actually save. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we can actually just chill and save. I think we'll get ghosts. Ghosts are like pretty decent. Man, we have like a lot of metal. Yeah, we should just use the metal. We could go mess like ghosts and reapers, which is a thing. But I'm not sure if it's the optimal thing to do. 30 iron for one of those. Oh god, these are massive. I did not realize that. I'm not sure if my flesh beast can handle them. Because they do get bonus damage per hit. But I think they... Okay, yeah, they barely can. They barely did it. Okay, let's get more metal. Regardless, we'll need uh, lots of metal. I can't believe that out of all the resources, we're missing mana. Unbe freaking livable. I really do need a mana. Nothing there. I'm just drilling, hoping we get something. Albino Roach. I think we can chill on this one. We don't have to get things. Yeah, we'll focus on the ghost next wave. We can just uh, literally upgrade more metal. We'll even upgrade metal with metal. And metal with food and saw block. So we have like tons of income. Oh, they give me like 6 per kill. That is amazing. We do have plenty of food. So we could go um, a very, very strong front line with, yeah, with some of those uh, Reapers and Ghosts, which are tier 3. They're not highest tier, but we should, uh, we actually kind of need to do that. We have no choice. Rocks can also like spawn out of nowhere, so that like that's a thing. Come on, did they not take this side? They, oh, are are you kidding me? They did not take this side. I could have went, I could have gone here, but I spawned on like the wrong side. Now we can uh, actually just yeah go for ghosts. We can go for these ranged units that are pretty freaking strong. I think this just spawned in. Um, I take. This is more metal. It's just more metal, which is, I guess, good. We can use it, yeah. Okay, is that okay? I'm taking... Now we have actually a backline, which is the ghost. Go, little ghost. I don't think one ghost is enough, though. Nice. Bam. And he also can cloak like that, which is pretty dope. Bam. Oh, come on. He's squishy. He's gonna have to go down. But from now on, we'll do way better. Like, way, be way better. Not the single mana. This is so sad. You don't expect to be missing mana. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. You generally just, just don't expect this. Like, you're gonna miss this thing, like these three that are technically rares. So you don't get that many. So you don't see a lot of them on the map. You do see like a lot of mana and food and metal. Because these three are common and these three are rares. That is why. That is exactly why. But uh, you don't expect that. We're just hoping for like a little bit of mana, at least. So we won't have nothing. So we're gonna max out the mines now. This is at 9. Because like we have to. And max it at sub block. We have 32 income on iron, which is like pretty good. 
how many do we have? One, two, three, four. Four with that down. One, two, three. I think we actually have four. How is the infester? As you can see the Reaper is doing work. Boom, and then you can see the, the HP go down. Yeah, because Reaper is strong. Reaper is like really OP. No, no, this is also it. We have like five mines. Now we have five mines of metal, which is gonna be, I think, plus 50. If we upgrade everything, it's gonna be around that. Which is pretty big. The enemies are leaking quite a bit, so we might actually win. We might not have to go to the late game. No, Stalkers are weak, by the way. They're not as strong as the Reapers. Really? One HP in faster? Like, what is that? Was that a rock? I think I saw something white over here. Can we drill this one? No mana, that's so sad. We're not getting any mana. Well, it is what it is. We can still do it. We can still uh, win. Like, this is not a lost one by any means. You can do it with tier 3 units as well. Like, Ghost or here you can go for Holy Arcs. You don't have to go the strongest unit, but um, they're a fair bit weaker than the others. So, um, yep. Make of that what you wish. But it is a sad reality. Here, they should hold. It's like a low HP infester they leaked. Also, you can upgrade your mine guard. So when you leak and everybody just leaked and lost all their units, you can just have this thing be super strong and then win for you. So you can upgrade it with uh, explosive rounds. You can give it more attacks. You can... Give it more attack speed, more damage, more range. So if you have tons of resources but nothing to defend with, you can just do that. Next, Evil Conjurer. Not sure how these guys are, I guess pretty strong. Also, we're gonna use up our resources on all the metal we can. Oh, uh, is this? Oh, those scorpions, man. My ranged units are attacking the scorpions instead of the um, units. Bam! This thing does like 600 damage per shot. The Reaper, which is really OP. Ba -da -ba -bum. This guy is leaking quite a bit. Oh, it's Tamar. I think he's new, that's why. Tamar is a little leaker. It definitely leaks a lot. Here, this guy is the only one who's holding, actually. This um, rogue builder. Rogue can be super OP if you have all the resources for the combos. But you gotta get pretty lucky. Yeah. Oh, I think he's... Oh, no, okay, he's eco. He's not even trying to defend. There's a thing that you can do where you just get resources and uh, get and like do sense, and that's how you get your income. So you actually build no units, and Tamar I think is doing that with 61 gold income, which I think is decent. So I'd say, yeah, good job, Tom. You're not doing too bad. You can see the Reapers doing like real damage. Pew pew. Pew pew. This guy went holy arcs, which is pretty neat. I need mana badly. Thing if you find near me. Yeah, this is very weird. No mana is not something that happens every round or every game. It's rare to actually not have mana, but okay, I'll take it. 
We can still uh, deal with it. 54 metal. Now the income is at 34, which is starting to get serious. We want to be able to upgrade, so... Think, what shall we sell? Think two of these, and now we can get the Reaper. These tier 1 units are not that strong or important, so we can just do that. Also, we're gonna send for a little bit more income. They did uh, send a lot of units too. Because this is hard wave, so hard waves are the ones where you send the most. Go Reapers! Ugh, this is gonna be close. I think they're fine. The Ghost do cloak, which is annoying. Yeah, no, we did it. We did it! We don't have a good front line. We should just uh, upgrade the food a little bit. Are we fine? Yeah, we are fine. I agree. I wholly agree. We're gonna even upgrade this with mana, because we're not gonna use it for units. Um, I think we're... F yeah, we're fine. This guy is at 115 damage. I don't think this was necessary. Yeah, the now we're just holding way too easily. I think this was like waste. Because from now on, we're not gonna have many problems. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Not gonna have a lot of problems. We'll go... Yeah, we'll also go with the food path for... Uh, a uh, nice bunch of tanky units to tank for my ghosts and reapers because these guys are starting to fall off the flash beast and all these not that strong pretty weak this should be an easy wave I think oh these guys get like 12 armor which is kind of a counter for reapers because they have like 10 damage and 20 attacks but no, it's fine. We're still doing fine. The ghost actually has one big hit, so it makes it a bit better. Pew pew. Yeah, Reapers hurt. They also have a ton of range, which is uh, a nice bonus. Range is pretty big, more in like the final battle. Because then your units like stumble into each other because you have so many and you... Ideally, have long range stuff. Here we're gonna go for the Rexar, because they only cost food and we have nothing else. And that's gonna be our combo, or at least until we, we like find some mana. We cannot go uh, last tier melee because I also need mana for those. It's, it's like a curse. Mana is so necessary, but you never not find it. Except when you do happen to not find it, and those are very rare moments. Because literally everybody else has mana. 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 And lots of mana. There's tons of mana. Mana everywhere, I swear. People don't run out of it. Okay, I should upgrade the crystals some more because uh, I need more metal. Cannot get the crystal side of things. Look at this. How are the metal roaches? Yeah, they're fine. I could actually go for the Rexar. But uh, no, I don't want to do that because I want to be able to go for another Reaper. Because Reapers are big again. Way more important than the low tier units at the front. Do we have anything new? Can we drill this one? Yep, and we got nothing. Not a singular thing here. This guy is BMing. He didn't even like take his stuff. These resources are like unclaimed. That could have been me having this, these like um, free resources over here. Would have been so me. 
but it's not. So far no leaks, no major leaks, which is really neat. Pew pew. I'm not sure who's gonna win the final battle. It all depends on the like late game units. Yeah, this is also hard wave, the um, Aqua Spirits. Because they have multi shots, so they attack multiple targets. So we'll see. Here we could send uh, with food, like why not? Let's use our crystals to do some more upgrades. And that's about it. I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Pew pew pew. Oh my god, crystal things are a counter to reapers, by the way. Those crystallic looking thing is? Or counters. Ugh. Yeah, we barely held. This is a tough wave. What can I say? I think this arc can buff me with a regen. Please? I think he does that. Come on. Give me a regen. Gives random buffs. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now heals like a little bit. A little bit of heal. Teeny tiny bit of healing. Mm. We're not gonna die from this. We know that. I don't have tanks at all. I'm gonna get some Rexars now to be... A bit stronger. Because you do actually need at least... Some HP at the front, because Reapers have like 200 HP, which is laughable for their cost. Oh, I did not even get the upgrade. I thought I had it. My bad. Okay, now I do have it. Here, and this should be fine. I should get more food, because we have no food for the Rexar now. In terms of food, we have very little. Gonna do the crystal upgrades. Two waves are st I start playing, that's nice. Oh god, yep. Our front line dies in seconds. Like, we basically have like no front line. And we're still fine. So far. Pew. Guess we can send Scorpius with a sub lock because now we're not using it. This is so sad. We actually cannot use our sub lock, which is why I picked this builder to have a super strong late game. But nope. Game and Faith said no. Maybe a new rock up. Oh, yes. Uh, more metal. Really? Lame. Imagine that, we just get more metal. Which is not bad. I guess it's fine. Metal is good. But a little bit too much. Those are crystals. No mana. Still no mana. Here, we don't have enough for Rexars, so... We'll do the Reapers. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go for some actual food upgrades. Because we have none. Did I use the crystal on everything I have? Except for this one. Yep. Do we get more food? Yeah, we can just get more food like this. And like this. I have only one mana, wow. I mean, I know. Dude, I have zero. And not a single mana. I have 60. He means mana mines. I love how this guy still has like the basic units. He did not go for any special ones. Yep, look at this. It's kind of silly. He cannot hold. He's supposed to like hold two waves, by the way. You're supposed to like build a lot. But right now, in the late game, like the tier 1 units are not doing as hot. Yeah, they just get smashed. By the Immortals. 
It does like a billion damage a shot. I'm sorry we, could, we couldn't just like take the middle here. That would have been uh, really cool. Okay, we can now go for the Rexar. Nice, there's the Robotron. AKA super high tier unit. Which is what we've been looking for. Gonna get more food, always get more food when we can. Use the sub lock. Yep. This is gonna be an easy way for me. I'm actually gonna show you the Robotron. Look how much damage it does, it has like a thousand HP. It cannot solo the wave, but it will be able to soon. Here on my side. Reapers just obliterate the enemies. No problem, whatsoever. Don't even send, because we have very low uh, gold income. Only at 40. You know what? Yeah, these uh, paladins are pretty good against the wave. It might actually hold both. Yeah. With this uh, high elf upped. Bam. It did it, a dangerous send. Yeah, the Meliais are pretty tough, but they're gonna have Rexars. So we'll have a nice backline. Like a really nice backline. Or frontline. Frontline and backline, both. We're not just gonna have one. So 100, 118. We can sell this one, actually. We don't care about this. 260 HP. This guy has 1,600 like, those are real numbers. <clears throat> no puny 200 HP. But it's way more. Way, way more than that. More food. Because we gotta get tons of food too, not just metal. Let's see. Pretty tough wave. <clears throat> big, big tough wave. Yeah, 10 gold per kill. The more they send, by the way, the more gold we get per kill. So sending can actually just feed the enemy. What's up with these? They're super tanky. Jesus. This was actually pretty close for us. Yeah, a pretty difficult wave. But the wrecks are held. That wrecks are carried just super hard. We could take this method too. I'm not sure if we can spend what we have already though. Yep, no way you just hold two waves like that. Just no way. Go, little reapers! Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Easy. We have uh, 22 food. We need more food income. We have like nothing. So we'll get a uh, reaper. We can even get another reaper. Are you kidding me? Yep, two Reapers in one round. That's actually what we like to see. Tons of Reapers. Okay, nice. Let's upgrade this with whatever we have. Do anyone food? Not bad. We could just use more. We could use like way more. The Reapers in the back don't always attack, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Prow. Prow. Yeah, it is just super easy with high-tech units. Even with like really low tech, this was not a super hard wave. We could actually just get more food, because we have yeah, a bunch of things that are not maxed out. And we do not like to see that. Hello there, Gamzy. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, this guy has a Kanjarer. This is like the ultimate unit for the mage side with mana. And that is an upgraded Kanjarer. 
which is even stronger. Like 400 damage a shot. And he attacks pretty quickly. So that's good. Can sell a flash beast and get another up to Rexar. Because that's how things go. The game hates me? Why? Do you not have anything else other than like that Robotron from a while ago? Because one Robotron is not enough. It's not enough to win the game. You'll need more. An upgrade food. Plus 24 food. Pew pew pew. I did mistake? What mistake? What mistake could you have done that made you have one Robotron? Drink a method, method of scrap as well? I think so. I mean, he seems to be fine. I'm not sure. Must gold. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad though. I had plus 4 crystal, now plus 10. Okay. I guess Tamar is new, right? One game? Okay, for one game is doing pretty hot. But just get the resources you need, bro, and just start building. Because the worst thing to have is a leaker in the last wave. Last wave, everybody should hold. Because everybody had time to plan and do everything they ever wanted. But yeah. You should just do fine. See me? Okay, I got uh, an opt in another uh, Robotron, which is pretty good. But make sure you hold the last wave. Just get more of those. More Robotrons. Now oh, that's a lot of sands. People are sending quite a bit. Infestors. It should be pretty easy. Yeah, look at the Rexars. Tanking for days. Pew pew pew. Only 16 gold per kill? Come on. We're getting nothing. We're getting like nothing per kill. This guy is also going like Ghost Reaper Rexar. Colossus, that should be pretty easy. I do plan the assault, assault today, I really like the mode and played it a good bit more since yesterday. I will not in fact today play that. I don't think I'll play... Um... Oh, oh, Reborn! Okay, I thought you meant uh, Zombie World Unity. I think we will. We will if we find a good lobby that is like filled. Hello Iro, hi there Base Golem, how are you doing? We're getting just new people on the stream like every second now, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I would like to play uh, Assault Reborn. I would actually like to make a tutorial on it and play Medic, which is super basic. So uh, yeah, I hope we'll get to play it more. Also, um, we have enough mana to upgrade something, so I guess we'll do this one. Colossus, we can send some roaches, because still gold is low. And some scorpion, no, the Hydra and some scorpions. Need more gold. Doing good. That you get new members sounds very nice. It is very nice. Starcraft is actually far from dead. Even arcade. Arcade is still pretty massive. There is another game of the type zombie unity with full other unique hero. Does that interest you? You can uh, put the name in the actual chat. I'm not sure if we'll play it, but I can check it out. If it's interesting, then maybe. Because we are looking for new games. And Minds and Magic is one of them, but uh, we need more. Just say what the name is. So I can remember it and look it up after this game. Now here, yeah, we're doing fine with the Reapers. We actually don't have enough gold to spend all of our um, metal. Which is, I guess, a very good problem to have. Bam, and then more Rexars, why not? More Rexars, because they're just super tough. Still, like, no mana mines whatsoever. We're stuck with what we have. That's the bottom line. 
What is that? Oh, oil. Okay, more oil. By the way, these are uh, the Robotrons. Yeah, they're super tough. Can they actually solo the wave? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Come on. They did well, though. Like, two units almost finished the whole wave. That's the power of, like, last year units. Like, impressive powers. Really impressive powers. But they have to get destroyed, though. Sadly. Mm, yeah, we need more Reapers. We can never have too many. Let's send some more, because there's nothing we can do with these other resources. Still do that. Quart sponsor. This is tough because uh, Crystallic is very strong against ranged. Ranged did like 40% reduced damage to Crystallic. Yeah, Tom, or we know he took all of those resources. That is true. Let's see. Yeah, my Reapers basically tickle these guys. They also have 20 armor, which doesn't help. Oh, uh, yep. They prepared a, a dangerous scent against on die monster. Not the best uh, wave to send because even though they're crystallic, my reapers do splash and die monsters are like really really small. So for me at least it's not that bad. I killed three. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're doing fine. What is that? See a rock, come on, nothing. Saw a rock pop up, thought it was uh, gonna be something nice. Wanna get more ghosts and more of everything. I'm so good, nice tank. Oh, what? Oh, okay, got the Anubis, this is good. It's the strongest tanky unit. It has a shield that reduces everything by, I think, 50% or something. So that's really nice. Can we? I mean, I think we should look at me first. Because it is a tough wave. Oh my god, these guys are beefy. Beefy, beefy die monsters. Uh, I think we're fine, though. Yeah, when they gather up and get splashed by the Reapers, they just die. Robotrons cannot quite finish the job. This is like the last tough wave for us. Last tough wave for ranged. From now on it's all easy. Can this guy actually do this? No, he cannot. Yeah, die monsters are, are like super scary. Unless you have magic. Mages do really well against them. I think they still do reduce damage. But yeah, not that much. It's like... 10% less. So that's fine. Magic is very reliable. More Rexars, why not? And then more ghosts. We can even yeah, get another Reaper. We have like two full rows of just Reapers. Can Tamar hold, do you think? I'm looking for time when he, he can actually like hold a full wave. No. Okay, yeah. It's gonna be iffy, it's gonna be close. Especially like the last wave. You know what? That Anubis is doing a decent job. All these are firing and fighting. You know what? You can actually hold. Yes, you can. Like, four of these Robotrons just obliterated... Or no, it's three. Three just smashed the enemies. The power of just high tier units. Which I don't have. And that is also an idol. That is what I should have had. But uh, I got no mana. Got for me to kill. Mana is now my nightmare. 
my worst nightmare. We can at least spend our resources, so there's that. And Reapers are pretty OP against uh, the late game armies when the two armies fight each other. Like, Reapers are super, super strong. These idols only have 7 range. Reapers have like 8.5. So much better. Much, much better. Co-op survivals, heroes. Okay, I got the name. Nice. Sounds familiar, but we'll see. Why do the Rexars go in, like, first, before any Reapers? That is very weird. They just walk forward while the Reapers just wait. I don't think that should happen. Lasagna left the game. Yeah, Tamar is holding. Somebody on the other side left. Now you have plus 99 mana. Yeah, that's good. I win, you do win. By pretty far. That's uh, the one with the anti-FK farm global range biles, right? I think so. I am not sure. I'm not exactly sure if I've played it before. Let's get another Reaper more in the front. No reason not to. More gold income for us. Four Robotrons. Yeah, this is a tough army for Tomer. These guys going full mage. I'm the only one without high tier units. The only dude. Can he beat the like fathership though? Because this is a tough wave. Fathership is especially strong. Yeah, look at that. It's actually stronger than the last wave. Yeah, it's gonna leak. How am I? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Ironically, I'm doing better than the super high tier guys. Yeah, close. You don't have to leave Tom. You can just stay. You're gonna hold the dragon, which is what matters. Hello, Iroh. Hi, Chad. Thanks for the YouTube videos. They're great. Hello there, Blood. How are you doing? Told you guys. Like, this stream, for some reason, we already had, like, uh, two new people join in that we haven't seen before. I'm not sure if you've been on the stream before, actually, Blood. I haven't seen your uh, name in chat. Oh my god, we just got... We just got the mana. Mana we've been looking for. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've seen your name before, but it's nice to have you in the chat. It's nice that you come from YouTube, which is what we want. YouTube is the number one platform to share StarCraft content on. It's actually not Twitch. Even Loco like, has most of his um, viewers come from YouTube. Yeah, why do the Rexars go in first like this? This is weird. Rexards are bugged. How am I doing, by the way? Yeah, it's fine. I'm doing just fine. Winning. Nope, first time I caught you live. Okay, that's nice. Got the dragon. I win. Good job, Tamer. And we'll get to see the final armies fight. Now, which one's bigger? We haven't seen theirs. Maybe they're much stronger. Uh, not really. Oh, it's gonna be close. Would be just super close. Go Reapers. Can our Reapers just carry? Maybe. Maybe. No way. No way it's a tie. It is a tie. It is a... Oh my god. GG. It's an actual tie. Like if everything just dies. Then yep. It's equal. 